everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Pixie again, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Pixie. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever you're happy doing right now when you're watching this, I hope you're fabulously and safely, and taking care of yourself and your loved ones. And tonight, I am going to show a couple of like spooky Halloween fall type outfits, and I know I'm so late to the game and I've been slacking, but I have missed you. Uh, I decided to bypass the makeup part and get right to the outfits, but for my eyeshadow, I am using the Revolution uh, Birds of Paradise palette. It is great. If you do not have this palette, I highly recommend it. Revolution is cruelty free. I think I got this on sale, either Sephora or Ulta. If you like this palette, I'll link it in the description. But yes, Revolution is great. I love the payoff on these colors. <clears throat> so I used Canary Yellow. And then I used Toucan Play, this orange, and then I used Island, this purple. Or did, I think I used that purple too. Right there, it's called Adventure, but I love this palette so much. Not sponsored, um, but yeah, if you were interested in the eyeshadow I did, that's what I used. So, we will just get right to it. I'm not going to wear the shoes, but with each outfit, I'm gonna show you what shoes I would wear with these outfits, but as always, if I wear them to, say, Disney, I would probably don my flip-flops or my Converse's because I dress for comfort at Disney, but still like to wear fun things. But if it was date night, I will show you the boots or heels I would probably choose for said outfits because I don't have a vertical camera type thing, so every time I show you wearing shoes, I have to move it to the floor, and I'm feeling extra lazy tonight so we will just get right to the outfits and instead of putting the usual music over it I think I'm going to explain where all the pieces are from if you are interested you can look for them I think a few are discontinued or thrifted but maybe this will inspire you to put some outfits together and for once it's not a Disney bounding video <laughs> I decided to do something a little bit different about how I dress for like say date night or going thrifting like I do other things and wear other things besides Disney bounding all the time. Yes, Disney bounding is fun, but I do want to switch it up a little bit on my channel so it's not just solely Disney bounding stuff, even though I will still do those. It's a lot of fun. But anyways, we'll get right to it. And I have one, two, five outfits to show. So hopefully I don't make this too long for you. <laughs> and yeah, let me know what your favorite outfit is and we will get started. All right, off bye. See you in a minute. So this first outfit I thought was super cute, it had like a little pastel goth moment going on, but if you didn't watch the Oriental Trading Hall, I got this little headband off of there and the wings I turned into a backpack, so clearly I would use that backpack. With this outfit, I just sewed the wings that came with the headband onto this backpack and there's a tutorial for this that I made. Um, so I'd wear this backpack and don't fall. This little bat necklace is from Amazon. It's just this cute little bat guy and I'm wearing jack-o'-lantern earrings I made and I got the charms off Amazon as well. And to go with the unicorn theme, I picked out this cameo. I found the cameo at Hobby Lobby and did the chain myself. And the dress is super cute. It's two of my favorite things. Unicorns and bats and such. I mean spider webs and bats. And this dress is from Dress Lily. I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, I'll link it down below. And this belt is from a dollar store, I believe. Eons ago. I'm not sure where to find a belt like this. So that is the first outfit. Yay. Yay. Spooky and cute. And I think I would wear these boots that I got off Amazon with this dress because there's white in the unicorns and the spider webs. But yay. Um, I love these boots because they have little pearls and all the studs and the hardware. They are just super, super cute. Yeah, these are the boots I'd probably pick for date night. But 
Yay. First outfit. Love it. Super comfortable. It's still hot in Florida, but I would just throw like a cardigan on if it was actually chilly. And maybe some tights. Bam. Bam. I love dress to like because they're cheap and comfortable. Perfect. Awesome. Easy to wear. On to outfit number two, not four. Outfit number two. So I plan on wearing this to Disney on Saturday, but it's definitely not a Disney bound. But because you can see the ears, I'm wearing the new Nightmare Before Christmas lounge flies. And of course, the backpack would definitely go with for this. And this is my daily right now anyway, that I'm just carrying around when I go out. So those are that. And then I'm just wearing a regular velvet collar this these are like a pack of 12 off Amazon like they're the most basic chokers ever I'm wearing the little bat guy again and this dress is one of my favorites it's from Amazon I just love the pumpkins and it has these cute little Grim Reaper guys on it like right there and little cobwebs and bats it is so cute. I love it. Halloween is all year round. And I would probably wear a petticoat under this dress. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then I'm wearing basic tights. I think these are from Amazon. You can find similar tights like anywhere. <laughs> but yes, I love this dress. It's spooky, it's cute, and it's comfortable. And it has pockets. So. This is a second outfit. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So much. And yeah, this pattern is just everything. It has cute little cap sleeves and like the sweetheart neck like neckline. It's so flattering. I love this dress so much. I can't get over it. I know. I know. I'm crazy, but yay. Yeah, you can definitely see with the flare, it would just give it some more oomph with like a petticoat. And there's a close-up of the ears. Love it so much. Had to have them, had to have them. So, yay, outfit number two. Probably one of my favorites. Perfect. <clears throat> Onto the third outfit. Awesome. Okay, outfit number three I'm super excited about, but it, like I said before, it's still so hot in Florida, so I cannot wear this yet. And um, I don't know, this sweater is just so much fun. <laughs> I found this sweater on eBay, and it's just so random and cute and quirky that I, just, I can't resist it. Uh, I found it on eBay, but it has these felt cute little jack-o'-lanterns that are beaded and I don't know, it's just adorable. Look how cute they are. So this is more like a cozy outfit, like you go to pumpkin patch. <laughs> so I'd probably wear like Converse's with this and a cute little bag. But for the more fall aesthetic, I'm wearing this cute little owl necklace that I made. I still have my little jack-o'-lanterns I made. And then I thrifted this little headband. I thought it was cute for that cozy effect. And I'm just wearing a regular black tank top and black and white tights. And then this skirt I thrifted, but you can find something in this similar shape like anywhere. Like when I go thrifting, I see like 30 of these. But This sweater is from eBay, but I literally just typed in vintage Halloween sweater, I think. And I love the little buttons covered in more. Like they knitted the buttons and these big stitches and I'm already sweating. <laughs> but yes, the showcase item 
is this sweater. But you can pair it with like anything black or even orange. Like I thought about doing the orange and black striped tights, but I didn't feel like digging them up. <laughs> so yeah, cute little sweater that's like the showcase of the outfit. Tank top, skirt, tights. Boots or Converse's Doc Martens would look cute with this too. And a little headband. I thrifted for a dollar. <laughs> so, hey. Yay. It's just so cute. I can't wait for it to actually get cold so I can wear it all the time. But. It has all these leaves. It's super cute and like a ladybug for some reason. But I love it. Yay. So that was outfit number three and on to outfit number four. Yay, outfit number four. I thought this was super cute, but I'd probably wear this like all year round. But first I have this cute little clip that I got off Etsy. I think this came with a Disney bow I bought as like a free gift. And this could be one of Delia LeFay's bows, but I thought this was super cute because there's green in this outfit. And then I have this cute little cardigan. It's a little bit tight, so I could probably pick something else. And again, I'm just wearing the plain black tank top underneath. But it has all these little sequins throughout. I think this is old Delia's, but yeah, it looks like I'm busting out of it because it's just like a really small cardigan, but you get the idea. And again, this is one of those cheap Amazon chokers that came with the plain black one. I'll try to link something similar down below. They were really cheap. And I have a little spider necklace. He's vintage. But you can find spider necklaces anywhere. I've had that since I was like 17, but just Google spider necklace, I guess. And then the skirt is super short. So I'd probably wear it with more tights or fishnets, but it's a Creepsville skirt. Let me show you as it fell over. Uh, it's Creepsville 666. So cute. But you can see how short it is. Um, it says Miss Monster all over it, and I think it's Bride of Frankenstein like silhouettes. I'll do a close up and hold on. Sorry about the crotch shot, but it's super cute and green. I got the skirt off a goth mystery box a long time ago that I found on eBay, but I think Creepsville 666 is 666, I have words, I promise, is still around. So I'm sure you could hunt something similar down.
probably style this differently, but I wanted to style this skirt that I thrifted. But a little cheerleader, black and white skirt, which maybe would look better with like a petticoat to do a flare. But super cute. And then, yeah, can't lace up myself. And then I paired it with green and black cutoff stockings or a little bit of contrast and to bring the green into it from the corset. So, let's see. The cute little pattern. <clears throat> I forgot to put earrings in, but I'd probably wear these hoops or like my little bat earrings. Pretty much anything would work. Please stop spinning. And then, if it was like chilly ever, focus please, hi. Okay, I need to put more because I'm tired. <laughs> if it was ever cold, I'd probably wear this. Cute little cardigan that I thrifted to bring in pink from the candy and the kitty ears. It's so hot, bear with me. Just to give it a little bit more like contrast and interest and of course to stay warm. <laughs> so I would definitely wear this out to like a date or a concert and I would probably wear these again. Just because of the white and the skirt and this is kind of like a pastel moment but I think that would go well and then I would use my Betsy Johnson boo backpack because of the little ghosts in the corset. So I love him. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a mini backpack that I found at Bell's Outlet, I think. So that would definitely be my bag of choice. So yay! Final outfit. I do like this skirt a lot. It's very versatile and cute. You could wear it with a lot of things. And of course, the corset's super cute. I love it. I need to wear it more often. <laughs> or at least style it more. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was the last outfit. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought, what your favorite one was. Would you wear these outfits out and about? And if I forgot to mention where anything's from, just let me know in the comments. I don't know. <laughs> Love the corsets. Love them. Love, love, love. And I'll try to link that down below or the video I did reviewing them if you were interested, if I could find the video. But, yay. Super happy, super awkward. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you're wearing whatever makes you happy. That's the whole point of this channel. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Love you, bye. Love you so much. Awkward out. Awkward takes you out. Bye. Love you so much. Bye.